four months after the demons attacked, I was at home watching TV with my brother and Trevor. Then I said, what shall I put on the telly? So Trevor said, I want Lord of the Rings. And my brother said, I want food four. So I said, hmm. I'll have Pride right of the Blue Sea. And then we start the moaning. Can I have food four? My brother said, so Trevor said, I want some fat sea. Then I said, no. I said, I want pride. Do you understand? So they start to sulk. And then suddenly, a doorbell went boing, boing. Then, when I open the door, I see Uncle Mozart and Uncle Tomato. Uncle Mozart said, right, Michael, the time has come. Something new is up, so come with us. Okay, I said, okay. Yeah, okay. And off we go. There we all were. Me and my brother and my friend Trevor and Uncle Mozart and Uncle Tomato. So Uncle Tomato said, there was a man who turned up right here, put up a stage in the park he did, put notices all round the street saying that he was going to put on show a terrifying creature to conquer the world with the show to start in, in five minutes. And we looked to see what there was. There was a great big tent with a stage in front of it. We all waited and there were hundreds of people then Suddenly the man came onto the stage in front of the curtains. All his clothes were dark and he had a grey beard and a hood. It was then I noticed it was Mira. We used to meet him at the book club. Then I said, that's Mira. So my brother said, would you believe it? And then suddenly Mira starts up talking in a spooky way. And he said, this is the start of a new age. I'm going to be your new leader. Do you understand? And there was the noise of someone shouting, What if I don't want to? Mira said, I don't care. And he took this magic stick and shot brown stuff at him. Suddenly the guy's flesh burned off and you could see his skull. Blimey. And he just fell over and died. Mira said, Stopped, have you? Now, my name is Haribo and I'm going to be your new leader. Do you understand? So the people in front looked round and said, Okay, yeah, okay. Good, he said. Then I said to Uncle Tomato, Wait a minute, Haribo. So the stories about my mum and dad are true. And Uncle Mozart said, Yes, Michael. That's right. Then suddenly it appeared on its own. Right in the middle of the stage, in front of the curtains, a terrifying creature. It looked like great big blobs of crap, scooped together with two red eyes and really long tentacles. Harry Bow said, Watch out, everybody. This is the die. Ah, ah. Then hundreds of little crap creatures appeared. And suddenly we all heard a terrible noise. There was an awful yelling and crying. There was the noise of people running. It was then Uncle Mozart took this magic stick very, very quietly. And he looked at the creature and said, it's time. Now get ready. And he starts swinging the magic stick to and fro. Then suddenly loads of flying spots appeared. There was Uncle Jam Roly Poly, Uncle Vanilla, and Uncle Apple, Uncle Spaghetti, and Uncle Pickle, and Uncle Cucumber, Uncle Ice Cream, Uncle Chocolate Cake, Uncle Plum, Uncle Raisin, Uncle Strawberry, and Uncle Kimchi, Uncle Cherry, and Uncle Jelly. Then the Bear Tour of London began. Me and my brother and Trevor ran and ran, hiding in the corner of the street. We were all crowding round, dead quiet watching the bed tall and it went on for ages. Uncle Jam Roly Poly and Uncle Jelly were shooting magic at a shit creature and then suddenly Uncle Jelly got crushed. Oh no! And he just fell over and died. That's a shame. He's really nice. And there's Uncle Raisin shooting magic like that and he said die. You should stay this. <laughs> You'd hear them going down behind you. Kaboom! 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 And there's Uncle Spaghetti and Uncle Chocolate Cake doing the same. There's Uncle Plum and Uncle Kim G. Uncle Ice Cream and Uncle Vanilla doing the same. There was an awful yelling and crying. There was the noise of magic. It was then 
I noticed Uncle Mozzarella and Uncle Tomato fighting the guy. Angry ah, Fugel. Blimey. Suddenly, the Fugel disappeared in a flash. Then, Uncle Pickle and Uncle Cucumber appeared in front of me and shouted out, Look out! Then, suddenly, it appeared. The guy. Angry ah, Fugel. It said, if you were... Oh yeah, you bet he said that. So me and my brother and Trevor ran and ran away like mad. Meanwhile, Uncle Pickle and Uncle Cucumber began fighting the Fugel, shooting magic. And Uncle Spaghetti and Uncle Chocolate Cake and Uncle Cherry join in, shooting away like mad. And the Fugel became really loud. There was an awful yelling and crying. It was then it shot down Uncle Cherry and Uncle Spaghetti and they just fell over and died. Oh no! Me and my brother and Trevor ran and ran. And then suddenly the Fugel appeared in front of us and said, So Trevor said, oh no, this is horrible. I shouted out, quick, get out, get out of here. And then suddenly, me and Trevor got pushed into the corner. The Fugel shot at me and Trevor. Then suddenly, my brother ran and jumped in front of it and it bangs against my brother. And I shouted out, no, Brian. And then he just fell over and died. My memories with Brian flashed before my eyes. And I cried. I shouted out, you're all shit preachers. And that includes you, Haribo. Suddenly, Haribo appeared. And he laughed and said, ha, you are my prison. Yeah. Now, Michael Rosen. So Trevor said, screw you, Haribo. Suddenly, Haribo punched Trevor down. I shouted out, get off him, you horrible shit skull. And Haribo said, mm, I can kill him. Now, he's useless to me. I shouted out, no. You're gonna pay for this. And he said, ha, mm. I think not. Then, suddenly, it appeared. A hot rod car on its own. Whoosh! And it was my dad. And he jumped out. His eyes were red. And he shouted out, get off my boys. And he had this really long shotgun and shot out Haribo's brains. And he just fell over and died. Look at that. <laughs> it was then I noticed my mum. Meanwhile, the surviving flying spots men were fighting the die. Angry Fugel. And so Mum and Dad join in, both going. The Fugel said, and it just fell over and died. So Trevor said, fantastic. My dad said, after the bed tour of London was over, I don't believe it, I really don't. Brian is gone. My mum was crying. Uncle Mozzarella said, The bad news is we cannot resurrect the heroic flying Scotsman who died today. Uncle Spaghetti, Cherry and Jelly. But good news is we can resurrect Brian. What you have to do is find a special artifact. Do you understand? Yeah, I said, it'll be great. And he gave me a special book. So I said, I'm going to buy these wonderful things and resurrect Brian. I promise I will. Kaboom, 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 kept plums.